Hey, it's Karina, and thank you so much for joining me. Today, I'm going to lead you through a daily yoga for beginners stretch that you can do every single day to just warm up some of those common areas of tension and hopefully leave you feeling a whole lot better. If you have a couple of folded towels, go ahead and grab them. If you don't have towels, you could use some dirty laundry off the floor of your room. Or join me for this class with no props at all. That's also totally fine. So we're going to start our class today reclining down on our backs. So if you've got your props, go ahead and set them off to the side here. And then we're going to come bringing our feet flat on the mat in front of us so the knees are bent, the feet are flat. Just take a moment here. We're going to slowly come down onto our forearms. And then from here, pushing into your feet and into your forearms, you can slightly lift up the hips so you roll on down onto your back, feeling that the spine is nice and connected with the floor as you roll down. From here, take a moment to just adjust. So maybe you need to bring your feet a little bit closer. Maybe spread them out a little bit if that feels a little bit more comfortable for you. So keeping your left foot planted on the ground, go ahead and bring that right knee toward the chest. So as you start to pull that knee in, maybe you feel a little bit of resistance in the hip flexor. Just be nice and easy here. Starting to pull that knee towards the chest. You can keep some space between the back of the knee if that feels better for you, or wrap your hands around the top of the lower leg, really hugging that right knee in towards the chest. So as you pull the knee in, you're really feeling that compression of the hip flexor here. That should feel really, really nice. And then we'll just take the knee a little bit toward our right shoulder. So now we're kind of hugging it a little bit at an angle. So the knee is just barely pointing up towards the corner of the mat. Take a nice deep breath. And then we'll bring the knee back in to kind of being in line with the shoulder or in line with the hip. And then from here, nice and gently, go ahead and replace that right foot back down on the mat, and we'll start to bring the left knee up. So once again, just breathing in to any tightness that you feel here, slowly starting to hug that left knee in closer to the chest. We spend a lot of time sitting, most of us, so sometimes this Simple hip flexor compression can feel a little intense. Just breathe into it wherever you are. And then nice and gently, we'll start to take that left knee kind of at a diagonal. So now the left knee points up towards the left top corner of your mat. and then bring it back through center one more time. Nice little compression. And then we'll gently set that left leg down. From here, go ahead and press into your feet. Just gently lift the hips up again to adjust. And now we're gonna start working with a little bit of hip opening. So if you have your pile of towels or your pile of laundry or whatever you might be using, go ahead and bring it up right next to this right hip. From here, you'll probably want that a little bit lower, so it's kind of a little bit lower than the hip line. And then we're just gonna start to gently go ahead and lift that right leg up again and then start to open the right leg so that it falls over onto your towels. So from here, that foot can just kind of rest wherever is comfortable for you. We're just starting to invite a little bit of opening through this right hip. It'll be more intense as the foot comes closer to your body, but no, it's totally okay to leave that foot a little farther away from your body. Just finding a little bit of stretch here. If you want a little more, you can use your right hand on top of the right knee to just offer a little bit more opening. You could also remove 
one of your towels if you like that. But I definitely noticed that this nice big stack of towels feels really, really good under this hip. And we'll just breathe for a moment here. And then nice and gently close that right knee as if you're closing a book. So now both of the feet are planted. We're gonna do that same thing on the other side. So we'll just move our props over. And then once again, starting to lift that left leg up a little bit, and then just letting that left leg open up onto your pile of props. That left foot can fall wherever is comfortable. And once more, option to add a little bit more just gentle pressure in this hip opening, placing the left hand on top of the left leg. Breathe into the sensation here for a moment. And then closing that left leg up like a little book. Now we're going to do a reclined spinal twist. So getting a little rotation into the spine is really healthy for the spine. So we're gonna start by bringing So you can leave your props over here by the left hip. We're going to start by gently pushing into our feet, lifting up our hips, bring them just a little bit to the right side of the mat. This should just kind of start sending the knees over to the left. So from here, using those props underneath the left knee to just make this twist a little bit more comfortable. And then from here, notice if you need to kind of adjust a little bit so that both of your shoulders can be basically laying flat on the floor. If you'd like to complete this twist, then go ahead and gaze over your right shoulder. Option once more, if you want a little bit more, just placing the left hand over the knee to kind of accentuate the twist just breathe into any sensations that you're feeling here throughout the spine should feel really nice and as you come back to this video each day maybe you find that it becomes more and more comfortable to do these poses without any props or you can continue using those pillows props blankets as much as you'd like we just want to find our nice, comfortable breathing here. And nice and gently coming out, go ahead and bring your gaze back through center if your neck. <laughs> and coming out nice and gently here, go ahead and bring your gaze back through center if your neck was turned. And then we'll start to just bring the knees back through center. You can kind of use that hand to help bring them back up. Pausing for a moment here and then I'm just going to bring my pile of towels over to the other side. These have to be the softest towels I have ever felt. They're so nice. These Miracle brand towels and just snuggling those up next to the right hip. Once again, we'll press into both feet, a little bit lifting the hips, bringing them a little bit to the left so that the knees just fall right on over to the right on top of your prop. Once more, checking in with your shoulders and noticing that maybe you just need to adjust a little bit so that you feel both shoulders really grounding into the mat. Or I guess you feel the shoulder blades grounding into the mat. An option here to go ahead and gaze over your left shoulder, completing the twist. Breathing into that sensation that you're feeling through the spine, through the low back. You can always use this right hand to just gently invite a little more twist. Nice 
nice deep breathing and then lifting your gaze back through center nice and gently you can use your hands to help lift the legs back up so now both feet are planted on the mat I'm just gonna pull my towels to the side to get them out of the way and from here we'll start to once again like we did at the beginning of class lift up that right leg hugging the right knee in towards the chest if you want a little bit more here you can go ahead and slide that left leg down to straighten so now we have the left hip flexor is straight and stretching and the right hip flexor is compressed hug that right knee in And then I'm gonna drag this left foot back up. So now that foot is planted and we'll just switch. So right leg comes back down. Go ahead and lift that left leg, hugging the knee in. And if you'd like a little bit more intensity here, go ahead and slide that right leg down to straighten. Hugging in that left knee. And then bringing the right foot back up and letting that left leg drop back down. So now both the feet are planted next to one another. So now we're gonna hug both knees in towards the chest. So kind of think about pushing your belly down into the floor as you lift up the knees. You can gently hug them towards the chest. And then hold on to your left knee. We're just gonna straighten that right leg toward the sky. So nice dynamic movement here. Just slowly bending and straightening the right leg. You can go ahead and point through those toes, flex and point if that feels okay. Sometimes the hamstrings are really tight. If this feels too intense, just continue that nice dynamic movement here only straightening the leg as much as is comfortable. Pointing and flexing if that's feeling good for you here. And then nice and gently, we'll go ahead and hug that right knee in back towards the chest and start those dynamic movements with the left leg. So just starting to slowly straighten and then bend the left leg. If bringing this left leg straight feels good, then we'll flex and point here. Really nice. Go ahead and bend that left leg again, hugging both knees in towards the chest. And we'll go ahead and extend both legs up towards the sky here. Gently flex and point the feet. No worries if you need to keep the legs still a little bit bent here, if having the legs straight doesn't feel good. Just come out of the movement a little bit. And then we'll alternate flexing and pointing through the feet. Gently go ahead and start to bend both knees, bringing both knees toward the chest once more. And then we'll just gently start to plant them back down. So I like to go one at a time. It just feels nice. It's a little bit easier on the low back. And we're gonna close today with a little supported bridge pose. So if you've got your folded towels, go ahead and bring that kind of next to you. So with both feet planted, we'll just start to push into the feet, gently lifting up the hips and slide that towel underneath the low back. So the towel comes underneath the sacrum, which is kind of the flat part at the top of your butt. <laughs> 
So the towel comes right under the sacrum, that kind of flat part of the low back. And you can just let your arms rest on either side of you here. Take a moment to just kind of notice the sensation of that prop or pillow or towel underneath the low back. Should feel really nice laying in this position. And as you start to feel like you want more from this position, as you come back to this video, maybe you want to try it with both towels sometime. But the key is just being really easy on your body and finding comfortable But the key is really to listen to your body. Finding a comfortable way to spend some time in these postures without pushing our body into an uncomfortable shape. Nice and gently here, go ahead and push into the feet once more, lifting the hips and removing your prop. Slowly rolling the spine back down onto the ground. And just notice for a difference, maybe you didn't really feel anything when you had the towel under your low back, but now that you've removed it, you have a lot more awareness of how different it feels. From here, you have two options for your Shavasana. You can start to walk the feet out a little wider than the hips, allowing the knees to knock in on one another. Or you can go ahead and extend both legs long, taking a traditional Shavasana, if that feels better for you. I'm gonna stay right here with my knees knocked together. Breathe for a moment. And even though we've just spent a short time together today, I want you to find so much gratitude for yourself for making the time to do some yoga today, for making some time to do something really good for your body today. You're always welcome to pause the video and spend a few silent minutes in Shavasana. Or if you're ready to come out, we'll go ahead and start to either bring the feet back towards the center of the mat if you're in this position that I'm in. And then we'll just reach the arms up overhead. Take a really big stretch here, reaching the fingers up as far as you can reach and then starting to come over laying on your side you can use your arm like a little pillow here for just a moment and using the hand in front of you push yourself back up to a seat We'll close today bringing both of our palms together. Hands come towards your heart center. And just go ahead and drop your chin towards your chest. You can close your eyes here or gently gaze down at your fingers. The highest and brightest in me honors and bows to the highest and brightest in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me in class today. I really hope that you're feeling super good after joining me. And if you like this class, you can join me for even more yoga on our app, Yoga Plus. I've got a link down for you below in the video description. And I hope you'll start your free two-week trial today. See you there. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth.
available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.